Hello everyone, thanks for joining me for today's Lunch and Learn. I'm Keith Armour, I'm the Education and Homework Support Manager right down here at the main library. I don't know if you know this, but it is actually National Crafters Month. Now, I'm not the best at crafting. As you can see, I made this, and you would think that I actually made this when I was a child. No, sadly, I made this about four years ago, but I did do a pretty good job with the snake. We have some wonderful resources that I'm gonna show you today and also highlight some of great activities that we have and events that are happening around the library. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, with the weather so crazy during March when one week it's uh, winter and the next weekend it's summer, it seems like, crafting month for March is perfect. So we're at our website, cincinnatilibrary.org. We're gonna come right over here to research databases. And when we log in right here, we're going to go to online courses. Now you can definitely check out hobbies and crafts. If you'd like to know a little bit more about hobbies and crafts, you click there. And of course, it's going to give arts and crafts here, kids crafts, performing, scrapbooking, outdoor recreation, um, home and garden is this, uh, this area right here. And of course, there's some popular resources that they use on the uh, Hobbies and Crafts Reference Center. Highly recommend you check that out. This one right here is where we're gonna go today for the bulk of our time. Uh, creative Bug, learn how to complete uh, a wide variety of arts and craft projects from figure drawing to furniture upholstery to felting. Creative Bug has more than a thousand videos for all skill levels taught by artists and experts. Now, if you, um, I've already logged in, so it's gonna welcome me back. If you click on that, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have to put in your library card number and your PIN first. If you don't have a library card, give us a call at 513-369-6900, and we'll make sure we get you a library card or visit one of our 41 locations all across Hamilton County. So it's going to, of course, welcome me back. You can tell that I'm up here uh, with my big K there. But and you can see some of the things where I left off and you can see some other browse class. I can look at popular classes here. I can look at seasonal classes there. I can do all sorts of different things, but I'm going to point out right up here. When I move my mouse up here, you have a whole bunch of different categories. You've got art and design, and you can see that art and design includes ceramics and printmaking and painting and textiles. And they also have a section for just for beginners, multiple uh, multi-part classes, quick classes and techniques under this category. When we move over sewing, we see, um, we see daily practice, we see uh, pattern drafting, hand stitching, garments, all of that. And once again, they have four beginners, multi-part classes, quick classes, and techniques. And you can look at all of them here. Under quilting, you can quilt just for babies and kids. And that's not the kids quilting, but actually you're producing products that are for kids or for babies. Um, blocks, daily practice, quilt tops, uh, modern quilts, and just home decor. Once again, you have a breakdown of the different kinds of classes as well here. If I move under paper, uh, book binding, paper flowers, printing again, and cutting machine crafts. Uh, and there's all sorts of different things there. And you can then click on there to see all the paper classes that they have. Under knitting, same thing. There's a section where you can knit just things for babies and kids. There's the felting part. There's sweaters. I know we're getting into the warmer months, but you could start working on a sweater now and be ready for the fall. Cro crocheting, you've got uh, the yarn craft and accessories. Now under food and home, you can see that we've broken it down here under baking uh, and cake decorating body and uh, bath and body, canning, daily practice flowers, furniture, um, refinishing and upholstery, and of course food, uh, home decor and packaging and presentation. 
Now, they don't have necessarily a class for beginners here, but there are multi-part classes and quick classes there. Under jewelry, you have beading, bracelets, necklaces, leather, and of course, you have the breakdown of classes there. Holiday and party, you can see there's quick classes on those major holidays that are coming up. So Easter is a holiday that is coming up. So I'm just going to click on Easter. And you can see there are 13 classes under that, under that category. So if you and your family celebrate um, Easter, you could make some needle felt peeps, or you could make a Easter, uh, Easter bunny basket. If I click on right here, oh, before I click, look at right here, it would take me 46 minutes to view all of the lessons to make this basket. Might take me a little bit, well, definitely would take me a little bit longer to make a basket like this, but uh, the whole class is 46 minutes. And so it tells you right here, it's a video. There's the video right here. It's taught by Annabelle. And all you have to do if you want to learn a little bit more about Annabelle, Annabelle is click there. It'll give you a little um, summary of the class. Learn how to. You're going to learn how to make those bunny ears. You're going to learn how to sew the straps and to even to make and attach a pom-pom, which would be the bunny's tail, I would believe. And then uh, what do you get? Uh, you get uh, four HD video lessons and you can, um, it's a download pattern included. And look right there, they're gonna tell you that the pattern that's included is a $16 value, but it is free for you. And you're wondering, well, where's that pattern? Well, if I click right over here, or if I click here, I'm gonna find it. Now, if I click here, I'm going to see all of the materials, but let's go over to the PDF and I'm going to download the Easter basket and then I'm going to open that up. And there you have, she's very, oh, it's a big Easter basket too. She's a cute little girl there. And here are what you will learn. Here is a complete list of all of the supplies and materials that you would need. And here is the pattern. So you could come to any of our branch locations and cut the pattern out uh, or print the pattern out and then you'd be ready to make that particular basket. I just love the fact that um, it's right here. And then if I go right here for chapters, once again, I could review the materials and I could look at the videos to make each section. All right, let's go back one. I'm gonna go back to classes, but I'm gonna go under art and design, and I'm gonna go right over here for beginners. I'm over in beginners. Um, I'm just looking around and I see this huge pencil that she has, and I'm kind of intrigued. It would take uh, four hours and 27 minutes for this particular class, but there's actually 31 mixed media projects in this. Once again, here's a summary. And here's what you're going to learn how to do. And of course, here are the things that you have. And once again, if you need the materials here or go to the download, I've already downloaded it and it's right here. And let me scroll back up. So here's a summary again. Here's the learn how to do all the materials that you would need. And then of course, for each particular day, this is day five, she wants you to use this, um, these two patterns. There's day eight and so forth, all right? Now, once again, you can go to the chapters. And if you wanna do the self-portrait illustrated, go right ahead. If you wanna go ahead, and do the um, storytelling paper, our paint, our paper, you could do that. You don't have to do every one of these projects. All right. I just think this is a great way, especially since each one of the projects is, uh, it, you would only view for about nine minutes for this one, and then you could work on it and improve your technique with mixed media. A great way 
to get your crafting on in the month of March, which is, of course, National Crafting Month. Now, I do want to point out one more thing before I go, and that is there is daily practice here. And you can see that there's a whole bunch of little daily practices that you can incorporate in your crafting room and crafting experience. And don't forget, of course, our wonderful Makerspace, which is a great place to do some uh, crafting projects as well. And I'll put a link for Makerspace for you to check out. We're going to go back to our main page. And I do want to go under services just to point out where Makerspace is. And right over here, if I say using the library, right here is Makerspace. If I click there, and this is perfect for those crafting projects. There's some school projects, small business projects, even nonprofit. Our huge collection of Makerspace material is downtown. And these are the hours for those. And then Loveland and Reading and St. Bernard also have some Makerspace equipment. Here are all the Makerspace equipment that we have downtown. And what's even better is we have a dedicated library staff that will help you every step of the way. You would need to reserve the equipment here. And of course, if you want to learn more about um, any of the equipment, such as the 3D printers, you click here and you're going to find a really nice detail of what you'll need, the cost, the price, and even uh, the way that you can reserve the 3D printer. All right. Going to go back to the main page. We're going to go under stream and download. I want to show you one more resource for crafting month. And we're going to come over here to Hoopla. We click on Hoopla. And I'm already kind of logged in. So I'm going to go up to browse and go all the way down to television. Now, when I go to television, you'll notice that there's a whole bunch of different things up here. I want to go over one more and there it is national craft month if i click right here on hoopla and remember with hoopla you have so many tokens that you can use each month and here we have 110 um, shows on different crafting projects here's crocheting basics season one Here's that sourdough, which sadly I did make some, no, not sadly, I made some great sourdough uh, the first year of the pandemic. Uh, and I need to go back and make some more. Uh, pressure cooking, uh, knit like a master. Um, I'm gonna click right here. And you'll notice that here is the video, but look, here's the episodes. Here's episode one, 20 minutes, episode two, 30, and you'll see that there's a bunch of episodes here. And all you have to do is click borrow. And this title is available for three days after you borrow it. So you can read a little bit about what the episode is about. And then you can borrow it. Now, don't forget with, um, with Hoopla, you can um, download and make sure that it works on your TV or a mobile device and a computer as well. So it's a great resource. And once again, going back one, there's 110 videos here. Uh, here's a Startup Library Quilting Season 1. And there you have uh, episodes 1 through 4 here that you can say working with pattern, cutting the pieces, know your machine. And this is a really great way to find out how to do something. And this is part of their Craftsy program, all right? Now, the other thing I don't want you to forget about is of course our events page. So if I go to events right here on our main page, and I am going to um, try to find, we have so many events, look at that. We have 2,790 events right here starting tomorrow. And of course I can divide it up by looking at the branches, the branch closest to me, or for our purposes, we're gonna look at crafts and do it yourself, our arts and culture. And I can 
click on both. Let me click on this one. But I can also go down and I can click on crafts and DIY. Now, you'll notice that there's a lot of crafts for kids, which is great. These, this is for children and teens. This is for adults. But there's another way that you can look at it. And if you scroll all down, you can come right over here to audiences. And you'll notice if I click on both of those, and that's arts and culture and crafts and DIY, I can do adults, click right here for adults, and I'll get the 176 events that are happening there. And oh, we have a great um, sewing machine down at the Makerspace downtown. And here's a perfect time to come down and learn about that sewing machine. It's, a, it's not just a sewing machine. It is an unbelievable machine. And that's on Monday uh, next week, uh, 1030 to 12. And there's a staff member that will help guide you through learning how to use that particular sewing machine. There's our ever popular um, watercolors for seniors, but of course the registration is closed, but Naughty, uh, naughty Netters, you gotta love that name. Life in, oop, this is full as well, but you can go and keep looking for more um, events for adults. And of course you can go back and say, nope, I don't wanna look for myself, what I'd like to do is just look for something for the kids and I'm going to click here and then there's 87 events that have to do with crafts. And remember, we do arts and crafts throughout the year, not just during the month of March. So definitely check out uh, Creative Bug, check out our Makerspace and of course Hoopla with that nice collection of 110 special crafting videos. All right, I'm going to click out and tell you a few more things. All right, celebrate National Crafters Month by visiting Creative Bug online and look at all of those wonderful resources. And think about attending one of those 288 events that we have for kids, for teens, and also for adults. And of course, that special collection from Hoopla, which has 110 special crafting videos. And of course, since I'm here at the main library, I'm telling you, definitely check out our makerspace. This, that is a crafter's dream. And anyone that's wearing one of these lanyards will be more than happy to help you out. I'll see you next time for another Lunch and Learn. See ya.